Hi there, welcome back to my Weebly series. Um, for this video, we are going to talk about how to drop in links to documents and um, some things like that, especially if you are at Google School, this will be helpful. Um, I will also do how to do this through uh, Microsoft Word so you, you can see each way, very easy to do. Okay, so what I like to do first is make a link, okay? so. I like to put something like click here for class. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So, click here for class syllabus. Highlight. And here's your link icon. It just looks like chains. We are going to create a link. But first we have to go grab that link from the actual document. So what I did is I opened up my drive and I just opened up this little um, curriculum thing that I'm working on, but um, you could find your actual document. And very nice up here in the top right hand corner on your Google documents is a share button. So click that and look right here, you get a shareable link. So go ahead and click your shareable link. And one thing you're going to want to do is um, double check like my school has like these restrictions where only people in the school district can see it. So um, you might want to go ahead and what I like to do is just make it public. There we go. Or if your kids do have emails that are within the school district, you can choose that option too. whatever works for you. So make sure you just change it so that way it's not blocked when kids go in there and, and click it. So click this link, right click it and copy or they have this handy dandy button here that I guess I missed copy link and then go back to your Weebly and we're going to drop this in. So we did create link. So this all these words will become that link in website URL. Click. Right click and we're pasting that in paste. And I usually have it open in a new window. That way um, the students can easily navigate and just close the window down and go be back at the website. There we go. Then hit publish. So that is one way using Google documents and you could do that with Google Slides. You could do that with any type of Google document as long as it has that nice little share button up there. So it's really easy to do that. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to do it with a Word document, which is pretty similar.